Uh, greetings. You are once again welcome to Standard Anatomy Plain Geometry. My name is Plain Geometry 2. Angle properties of circles. Angle properties of circles. So that is what we call circle theorems. Theorems, assertions, proposals, right? Circle theorems. Okay. Now, we will get a question and we will have these theorems in the question. And you have to find a way of identifying these theorems in one particular question. Then you apply it. That is all. That's the secret. So they are just like laws of indices. You see where you have to apply the law, then you apply it. Now, property one, ET1. Let's go. The angles a chord or arc subtains at the circumference in the same segment of a circle are equal. <laughs> now, that's it. Subtains. Okay, maybe you don't get the concept right. Subtain means to form. So the angle that is called form at a circumference. Now, what is a circumference? It's just a round part of this angle. That's a circumference. Are you okay now? And let's work it. Now, the angle that is called form or subtend at a round part, or what you call circumference of a circle, are equal. And this chord forms an angle here, here, here. So if this is 30, 30, 30, 30. Pt1. Are you okay? Pt2. The angle a chord subtends, you know what subtends, right? To form. The angle a chord subtends at the center of the circle is twice the angle is subtends or formed at the circumference. That's a round part of the circle. That's it. So, here, let's go. Look at the design well. And there is a chord, maybe. The angle it forms at the center A is equal to two times the angle this same chord forms at the circumference B. So there is A equals 2B. So if this is 40, and we are looking for A, it is 40 equals 2 times the angle here, then B will come out. 52. 53. The sum of the angles accord now, watch. 51, 52 are the most popular ones. So even if you can't get any of the theorems, get 51, get 52, and you are free. And you can manage or add something to it. The rest of the requirement, the rest. So, BT1, BT2, they are very popular, very common. You can get them. The rest of them, you can manage them. Now, three, the sum of the angles a chord or arc subtends at the circumference of opposite segments of a circle is equal to 180. What is opposite? Face to face. What is adjacent? Side by side. So this chord forms an angle here. The same chord forms an angle in the opposite direction of the circle here. It means you add A to B it should be equal to what? 180. They are supplementary. So if this is 40, 40 plus this will give you 180, then B will come out. Are you okay? Good. So what's something? BT3 and BT8 are the same. Watch it. You see? So property 3 and property 8 are the same. At least you have managed one. So you don't need to go for it. It's not compulsory. You can go three. You manage it. You need to manage with three. Are you okay? Okay. So this and this is equal to one eight. Now property five. Property four. The angle and diameter of a circle subtends at the circumference is ninety. What is a diameter? A diameter is a line which passes through the center. A diameter is a chord. But when this chord decides to pass through the center. Of the circle, it is given a special name called what? A diameter. Are you okay? Now, the angle this so called diameter forms at the circumference is 90. 54. 55. Equal chords or arcs. Now, what is an arc? You see, if you are doing construction and low side, uh, there's an arc. That's an arc. Do you see that? If there's a line, it means this can be an arc, this can be an arc. So, there's a line AB. Are you okay? So that's why they say a chord or arc, okay? There's a chord. The arcs are there's the cuts. The dots are the edges, okay? So the angle equal chords or arcs contains <coughs> the same angles and the circumference of a circle. How did I know that these chords are equal? Once they cut yes and they cut yes and they this side and this side are equal. Now they all form the same angle and the circumference. A equals B. <coughs> 86. Equal chords or arcs subtend the same angles at the center of a circle. How do I know they are equal? This side and this side are equal. 
you form the same angle at the center and equal course from the same angle at the circumference. Now equal course also form the same angle at the center. Are, are you okay? Yeah. This is how this one is very easy to identify. And there's no replica. The angle between a chord and a tangent. Now there is a chord. A tangent is a line that passes a circle on the outside. If the line decides to touch the circle on the uh, or passes through the circle, it's not a tangent. A tangent is just like you using a stick or a cane, putting a cane on the ball as a tangent. If you run the cane through the ball, it's not a tangent. Are you okay? Good. The angle between a chord, this, and a tangent, that, there's an angle, right? What is it between? You understand? Equal to the angle in the alternate segment B. So the angle here is for the angle here, okay? Alternate segment B. PT7 is very easy to identify. Now PT8, it looks like PT3. Let's go. The opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Why do we call it cyclic quadrilateral? Now this is a quadrilateral 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sides cyclic. Right? One like that, right? Good. Of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. What does it mean by supplementary? Meaning they add up to what? 180. So this plus this equals what? 180. C plus D equals what? 180. Okay. Now uh, these are all the theorems that you have to know. You keep the theorems on the board. Let's start application right here. Let's go. Application time. In the diagram, O is the center. Of this circle W X Y Z W X Y W X Y Z X Z and W Y intersect as V. That is true. X Z W Y they intersect. It means they meet there as what V. Calculate angle X O Y X. O Y. It means we want the angle here. No, no, no. Angle X O Y is one ten. This is hundred. So X O Y. That's O is the carrier of the angle. V is also the carrier of this angle here. Do you understand? Okay. So find angle X Z Y. X Z Y. X, Z, Y. So we want the angle here. Do you believe? Okay. My markers. So we want the angle here, right? Okay. Now, how do we solve such questions? The first thing to do is to look for what you have to do. Now, there are theorems hidden in this drawing. You have to identify them. Now, let's go. Once we're able to release one theorem here, the rest of them will just fill in the head. If you cannot, you cannot finish your work. Release one. What have you seen? Property what? Yes, we have seen property two, right? Here. You see this angle here? Look at the design. This and the center here, this angle here. Controls here, right? This is center. Center can also control here. Do you believe that? The center can control here. This same center here can also control here. Do you see what is going on here? Okay. So, this way. 1, 1, 0 equals 2 times the angle at Z. Do you see that? Yes, I'm supposed to say angle X, Z, Y. I mean, you are not so good at mentioning the angles, right? Okay, this method of working is I introduce the angles on the same drawing I'm giving. So if I'm doing this for a marker, then you have to draw it, redraw. Then the marker will see that you are trying to call years this, right? Good. So that is 110 one, over 2, 2z two over 2. What is the answer here? 55 degree. This is z. Good. Once the angle here is z, it's 55. Angle X Z Y equals what? 55. And you punish it down. 
you understand? Yes, it's not good. I mentioned the angle. So you can see 110 equal, is equal to the angle, is equal to 2 times the angle x0. Maybe you're not good at that. Fine. The insertion, everybody's good at insertion. Just insert, that's where you want, just insert it, right? You can't make anything at all. But please, your marker should see what you are doing. Then you want to call this angle A. Then you want to put A, then the marker will see you are trying to call it A. How do you want the marker to see that? Okay, good. Now I have one. That's I. I'm done with my eye part, right? Okay. This is very simple to see, huh? Now I. I. Angle WXZ. WXZ. Wow. Look at where Z is. But we can't extend here. It's not a wish. Okay? So we can see that Z naturally ends here. Oh. This is just a stretch for Z, right? So WXZ. I look at where Z is. What shape is this? Let's try that out. What is it? What is this? Is it a cone? Right. <laughs> okay, so you should know that Z naturally ends here, okay? Are you okay? Okay, so WXZ. Oh. You know that if this side is 100, the angle as V here can also be 100. Do you believe? Good. So V is also 100. So angle as V. So V is also what 100. The reason is what? Vertical opposite angles are equal. Do you see that? V is vertically opposite to this. You see how V? I don't know W. How would I get W? Yes. Which property will I apply to get W? Property one. The angle is so called called. There's no chord. You can draw a physical chord, right? The angle is called subtrains and the circumference are equal. Now this chord, please. Let's go here. Property one. Look at this chord. It forms an angle here. The same here. Now let's go back to the way. Look at this chord. If here is 55 over here, do you understand? Okay, so that is how I normally record my answers. BT1. When I put BT1 there, when you are doing revision, then it tells you, oh, but why is he saying BT1? Oh, okay. And it's in that property one, right? Okay. So that is property one. So the angle at W is also what? Angle at W is also 55, right? The reason is what? Property what? One. In case you want to know the reason, you go to property one, you see the reason why I'm calling here 55. Are you okay? So the way I'm doing my answers are for revision sake. You understand? You don't tell the marker property one. No, the marker doesn't need that. But I'm recording something for revision sake, okay? So I to put them there. If not, you'll be asked, ah, why did you say here is 55? Once I write BT1 and you go back to BT1, you see the reason why I call this 55. Are you okay? Good. Now I have W, I have V, the extension here, I have V, right? That's okay. And I'm looking for x, right? So I'll just do sum of interior of triangle W, X, Z. And let me call it V because I'm ending here, right? Are you okay? Good. And I still call it Z, you know I'm ending here. W, X, Z. Because what? 180. So let's go. There is W plus X plus the angle that V equals what? 180. Now W is what? 5, x, I don't know, v is 100, that's 180. Now, x equals what? 180 minus what? 155. x? 25. x is what? 25 degree. Now, therefore, angle what? W, x, z. When we say W, x, the one in the middle is what we are looking for, okay? So, the middle, W, x, here. You know this side is also x, but this one will go w x y. This when you say x y, you are coming to this side. And when you say x, you don't need to cross this z line. Are you okay? No your angles. So that answer is what? 25. Now, this was a compulsory question in Ghana for four marks if you succeed. Now, let's go. Next application. Attention here. Who is the center of the center? EQRS, find the value of X. Wonderful. What have you seen? 
Wow, it's becoming lively. Let's go. You have seen property trade. Okay, yeah, you have seen property trade, this and this. That is true. What again have you seen? Something I can start with. Property two. So the angle here. So please, is it 220 equals two times angle here or O equals two times angle here? Be very careful. Now, this is a simple trick about plane geometry. If they give you a drawing like this, and you cannot see the drawing well, turn your book. So if you have the book this way, and you cannot see the drawing, turn the book. Because this drawing can be circumvented. Okay? So turn the book, you see it well. Good. Now let's go. So, but before I do that, you know I can find something we call angle around the points. Do you believe? Good. Angles around the points equals what? 360. 220 plus O equals what? 360. O equals 360 minus what? 220. O, o equals 140. Good. Now, do you know the angle O? O equals 2 times the angle of scale. Do you believe? Which property is that? Property 2. Okay? So, the angle here is equal to 2 times the angle here. Right? Good. Now, let's go. 140 equals 2 kill. 2. 2. 70 equals what? Kill. I'm not looking for kill. Now, I will have to find what? X. So I know Q. How will I get my X? Property 8 or property what? 3. Please let's go to property 3. Let's go. The angle I called subtends at the circumference of, of the segment, opposite segment, are what? Supplementary. They add up to 180. Are you okay? So this plus this equals what? 180. Let's go to the question here. Let's go. K O plus X equals 180. Property what? 3. So K O is what? 70. X equals what? 180. X is 180 minus is what? 70. X is what? 110. This is cool. It's only cool for those who want to apply the theorems. You don't want to. Or inability to see the cost from off. Amanda, are you okay now?